Well, my brothers and sisters, Gaudati Sunday is the one Sunday in the year that I'm really happy because I get dressed up in my nice pink <laughs> chasuble. <laughs> it's not the big things that matter, but the little things that make us happy. But I do remember, looking back in my life, the times when I'm really happy and at peace are those times when I've been focused on God. There was a sense of God being with me. And we do remember the promise of Jesus or the gift of Jesus to his disciples. I give you peace, peace that the world cannot take away. And really today we are celebrating the anticipation of Christmas and the peace that Christmas brings to us in the good news of the birth of Jesus, the Son of God, who became one like us in and through Mary's acceptance to be his mother. So Gaudati Sunday is a reminder to us that only in Jesus will we find true peace and happiness. And of course, we're all in look, looking for peace and joy and love to fill that emptiness within us so often. And it's only God can fill and satisfy that hunger. We do have, of course, those passing moments of joy and love, but they never last. It's only in God and in through the person of Jesus will we find lasting happiness and peace. We are told in the Old Testament that God dances with joy in each of us. It gives it a truer picture of who God is, that our God is not a stern and strict and angry person, but rather a loving and caring person who sent his son to be with us 2,000 years ago in the person of Jesus. He didn't come in power and glory, but in the simplicity of a baby, the vulnerability of a child. Symbolic of he entrusting himself to us. And Gaudati Sunday is the Sunday we're reminded by the church that this child is the Son of God who came to love us, who came to lead us home. At the beginning I mentioned how we've, we're all exiles at some level, but at the deepest level of our being, we are definitely exiles because we are all sinners in some level. We all have been hurt and broken and lonely. We're not perfect or complete as human beings. So the Lord has come to lead us home, to lead us home to our true home in the Father, the Son, and the Spirit. And that is our joy this Gaudate Sunday. After the words of consecration and Eucharistic prayer too, I think it is, we thank the Lord for making us worthy to be in his presence and to serve him. And that in itself 
is the gift of God's love. We serve him as a priest, as a reader, as a Eucharistic minister. We serve him in our daily lives, not because we are perfect in ourselves, but because the Lord has made us worthy and enables us to walk in the footsteps of Jesus in a way of loving and caring. And surely, God, that is Sunday, that Sunday of joy and of peace, as we look forward to the coming of Christ, the birthday of Christ, and all that that means, it's a reminder to us, by the grace of God, to hopefully become a little more sensitive and be willing to reach out to the lonely, the little ones, those who feel isolated, the old, the sick, in a word, the weak. And it's only in reaching out to others with patience sometimes and concern will we find that peace and that love that Jesus offered his disciples and that he's offering to each one of us. Christmas is the time we wish peace and happiness to one another. And the church is allowing us, inviting us to celebrate Gaudate Sunday, to anticipate this joy and peace, just to sharpen our intention in our preparation for Christmas. Because as we know, Advent is the time for a deepening of our repentance for our failings and a renewal of our commitment to seek by the grace of God to be that little bit more faithful in loving, in forgiving, and in compassion. And we might well remember the words of Mary in response to the message of the angel that she would become the mother of God. Thy will be done. Thy will be done. Or you might say simple words, but yet graces came through it. And every time that in our hearts deep down we are desiring and doing God's will, we will ex experience peace and the love of Christ for us, but we will be peace and joy and love for others who may be struggling, who may be have great feelings of loneliness for their children that they've left in other countries so that they can come and serve us in Hong Kong. So let us, in our hearts, like Jesus, dance with joy and sing with our hearts in the wonderful gift and mystery of God's love for us today, which will lead us and more focus us more fully into what we are leading to on the 25th. And for those of you who are leaving to go home to your home place, we wish you a happy Christmas and a safe journey. Amen.